Python virtual environments. We have multiple tools in Python to create virtual environments, but first let's describe what do we mean even by virtual environments. By virtual environments, we mean a separated folder where we place our dependencies such that we can have multiple versions of the same dependencies and encapsulate all the dependencies of a specific project in a specific folder. Okay, so we have multiple tools for this in Python, so this can be a little bit perplexing. For example, we have PyEnv, we have VEnv, we have VirtualEnv, we have PipEnv, we have Conda, and we have also got Poetry. <laughs> okay, so, so, so many tools for doing in general the same thing, creating a new folder and having all the libraries there. Some of the tools also support having a different version of overall the Python itself. So some of the parts in virtual env and vnv, uh, so some of the parts in virtual env has gotten already into vnv. Vnv is is already standard inside Python. It's part of Python, uh, but it's not handling the dependencies. So so you cannot really say uh, in a f file I want this dependency and that, but it's also a virtual environment. It will create for you the virtual environment. So some of the tools inside virtual env have consolidated into vnv. pyenv will also allow you to have multiple versions of the Python version itself, if you have multiple Python versions. pipenv is taking some of the features in virtual env and some of the features in vnv and combining them, and conda is mostly used in context of data science, it can install both Python libraries and also external libraries. So this is the power of Conda that it would also assist you to install non-Python libraries. Today's standard tool to, to do all this and the nicest one is Poetry. Poetry simplifies the whole process. It allows you to control the virtual environment. It would create a virtual environment for you. But one thing that we need to understand is that even if we use all these tools, this does not mean that we would stop having problems with dependencies. We would not stop having problems with dependencies because some of the problem, some of the libraries have C extensions, so you need to compile them. Some of the C extension won't compile well. Some of the libraries need some system libraries, actual in your Mac libraries or in your Linux or Windows, actual libraries on the folder. And these libraries would not reside inside the virtual environment. Okay, so, so, so it would assist us, but would not solve the problem completely. Using Poetry, you first install the tool Poetry. Now, now let's discuss the Poetry tool for managing environments. Install Poetry. Pip install Poetry. Poetry init will create for you a pyproject.toml, a file where we would define all your dependencies. Poetry install will do two things, create a virtual environment and install your dependencies from the file. If you want to see the information about your virtual environment, Poetry and info. If you only want to see the path to your virtual environment, Poetry and info minus p. Uh, so, so this would create the the virtual environment in a cache folder, in an internal cache folder, but it's just a separate folder that you don't see. And I prefer to see this folder inside my project. So I do poetry config virtual env and project dot project true. And this would tell uh, poetry to put the virtual env library inside your project. Then poetry install again. Now you want to use the virtual env to run tests. So you run poetry shell. This would take you inside like a shell of the old Python and the libraries that you have inside poetry. And now you can type pytest. And this would run pytest in the context of all the libraries that you have. Now, if you want to add a new library like request library, poetry add re requests. If you want to remove library, poetry remove requests. And if you want to exit the shell, type exit. You can also type deactivate. 
point we end the list we list all the environments that it's creating point we uh, if you want to delete the virtual environment it's just a folder just delete it but of course if it caused the installation of extra libraries like syllabus etc this would not obviously delete them you can also build packages build python packages and publish them poetry build will build the python package and poetry publish will publish it so that's it for the virtual environments it's just a folder with libraries but we still have problems because some of the libraries install external c tools uh, etc